Then question six. I wanted question. What's got? This circle represents the wheel of a bicycle. The triangle at the side is meant to be a stand, so we're assuming, because that doesn't necessarily mean it's a tangent here, that it's going to be a right angle triangle, so the stand's horizontal and vertical. LO would be the diameter of the wheel, which it says is 650 millimetres. You define the size of angle LOM, L to O to M. So that would be this angle in here. So it's made up of two parts. I'll give them names. I'll call that alpha and beta. So it means I'm effectively looking for what's cos alpha plus beta. Well, I've got a right angle triangle here, so I can find its sines and cosines. This triangle, if you form a triangle in the diameter of a circle, from the diameter to a point of circumference, that triangle will be a right angle triangle. And something else that could simplify the arithmetic, because look at the size of those numbers, would be this. I'll just pick those triangles out again. So I've got the triangle that includes alpha, which is 150 and 200. Now I'm not interested in actual lengths. I'm only interested in the sines and cosines, which are ratios. So I could simplify those. I could scale that down. They both divide by 50, making that 3 and that 4. And then I've got my 3, 4, 5 triangle. Same with this triangle here. <clears throat> that also scales down by 50. That would be a 13 from an angle beta here. And whereas that would have been, yes, 250, it scales down to 5. So that part's still 5. And that's that other familiar Pythagorean triple, 5, 12, 13. Just scaling it down to keep the numbers simple. And then I just put these in. So what's that? You just have to learn these or look them up. Cosine of the sum of two angles is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And then pick them from the triangles. Cosine adjacent, four-fifths. Cosine of beta adjacent, 5 thirteenths. Don't be tempted to cancel that. Sine of alpha opposite, 3 fifths. Sine of beta opposite, 12 thirteenths. Same denominator, 65 for them both, so that will be 65. The top of that would be 20, the top of that's 36. Oh, so it's turned out negative. So I've got negative 16 upon 65. The cosine of LOM is negative 16 upon 65. And that keeps it nice and easy because you cancelled it down in advance instead of having these big numbers and then having to take out common factors.